One of the things that can get in the way of Christians expressing their creative talent is a misunderstanding of the Ten Commandments. One of the commandments says you shall not make any graven images for yourselves, either of anything in heaven or anything on earth. And though theologians and other people I've studied may tell you this means idols, given the historical context and how it was said, people want to be safe. And they just think, well, you know, that's just maybe not something that we should do. We just shouldn't create something out of nothing. It's not real. And they take this sort of Western idea of scientific em empiricism and they sort of surplant it into Christianity, and they think that that works perfectly fine. But if you look at Kings 6.29, and you'll see that the, the temple is decorated with images of cherub, palm trees, and flowers. The, the ark, which sits in the Holy of Holies, where the presence of God is, has ch images of cherub carved in it and on it. Images doesn't mean every image. Because obviously God couldn't reside in something that was made out of sin. Obviously the Holy Spirit is residing in the ark. The ark has images of something in heaven on it. If there was anything that should have been excluded from making an image of something, it would have been heavenly beings. Heavenly beings would be the main thing that that passage would want to exclude first and foremost, if it were just any images altogether, because that was the center point of worship for pagans in the ancient world, was these heavenly beings that were not God, or misconceptions of heavenly beings that were not God. The idea that you cannot create because of this commandment is bogus. This commandment's not talking about that. It's he's, God is not taking away your creativity and your ability to create and use your the power of imagery in order to teach, tell a lesson, bless, minister, etc. Think about all the stories that Jesus told. Jesus puts word images in people's heads, vivid images. And those vivid word images mean something in people's minds. They see those images. They see those people. And if that's wrong, if that's sin, then how does Jesus do that? How is it okay for Jesus to write a book, but for you not to, when he made you a creative individual with the spark of the vine to create just like God creates. Think about that.